Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is on the Script Safe Chrome extension. Rather than sharing a news story, today I'm going to share a quick security tools tip. In many of my videos, I recommend a Firefox extension called NoScript. Basically, this extension uh, blocks many types of script by default, specifically JavaScript, ActiveScript, and things like that. Now, blocking script can really help your security. Many of the exploit kits out there, many drive-by downloads, and many attacks out there have to leverage JavaScript to exploit vulnerabilities on your system. So blocking JavaScript by default can really help protect your computer. The problem is there are many legitimate sites out there that also use JavaScript and other scripting technology for very legitimate reasons too. The cool thing about NoScript is it allows you to easily start training it which sites that you trust and want to allow JavaScript on, whereas it can also allow you to block other domains that might load from that site and try to use JavaScript. In any case, NoScript is a fantastic security tool I've recommended recommended many times and many other security people recommend as well. Now the problem is I'm now a Chrome user and so are many people out there and unfortunately Chrome does not have no script. In the past I've also recommended a Chrome feature called click the play which is kind of like no script but really was not as good as no script in my opinion. Well today's tooltip is good news. Basically it's to share the fact that there is a Chrome extension called script safe which I just hadn't heard of. Basically, ScriptSafe is very much like NoScript. It will allow you to block JavaScript and other scripting uh, languages by default. It also allows you to do things like uh, prevent any sort of privacy leaks from your browser and prevent fingerprinting and other things like that. Anyways, it's very similar to NoScript. I like it a lot. It makes it easy for you to whitelist the sites you trust and want to allow scripts on while making sure that uh, hidden domains or domains you don't trust can't inject any sort of malicious code against your browser. I recommend you go get it if you're a Chrome user. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.